few years ago, the idea of a full-size luxury sedan from Kia was, well, a bit far-fetched. But things have changed dramatically, and Kia is now known for stylish, reliable vehicles you want to be seen in. But still, an expensive full-size luxury sedan? That's a new thing for the Korean automaker. Can it really compete with Lexus and Acura? And can it make the leap that Hyundai's made? Hi, I'm Joel Fetter with The Car Connection, and we'll tell you in our latest video road test of the 2015 Kia K900. K900 stretches Kia's current design theme over a much larger car. Now the most distinctive part of the design is up front with Kia's signature grille and these LED headlights. Other than that, the car is somewhat bland and we really could do without the fake side vents. Inside the K900's cockpit is comfortable and stylish. Most of the materials are soft touch with luxury surfaces like wood and matte silver metal. There's quite a bit of glossy black piano trim in here which we aren't big fans of. We do like these big buttons and knobs, basics that some of the competition has ditched. Up front, the space is adequate, though not expansive. Back here, there's more than enough space. The V8 VIP models include adjustable seats with a recline feature, a limousine-like touch. Oh, and you can also reposition the front passenger seat from the control console built into the wide fold-down armrest. You know, so you have more room. Under the hood of the K900, you'll find either a 3.8 liter V6 rated 311 horsepower or our tester's 5 liter V8 rated 420 horsepower. No matter which engine you choose, power is sent to the rear wheels via an 8 speed automatic. Fuel economy rings in at 18 miles per gallon combined with the V8 and 21 miles per gallon combined with the V6. While not stellar, it's acceptable for such a large sedan. From behind the wheel, the K900 performs adequately with the V8, though there is a bit of throttle lag here. It handles well for a large sedan, though it never feels smaller than it is. To its credit, it goes around a corner rather flat, and it's always well behaved even on cracked backcountry roads. The K900 is brand new and hasn't been crash tested yet, but Kia is expecting it to do well. There are eight standard airbags along with the usual array of safety systems. Several electronic safety systems are available, such as adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitors, and surround view camera. The K900 starts from just under 60,000 and comes pretty well equipped with a 900 watt Lexicon audio system, LED headlights, and four heated seats. Load it up with the V8 VIP package and you'll be looking at about 65,000 with everything from a surround view monitor and adaptive cruise control to a 12.3 inch infotainment screen and head up display. So what's the bottom line with the 2015 Kia K900? It reaches for the luxury stars and grabs a little Lexus and old school Cadillac while it's at it. Be sure to read our full review on the car connection and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. I'm Joel Fetter. Thanks for watching.